shutting down the Daily Mail, this isn't about attacking the freedom of press, we're not saying they're not allowed to print this bile and venom, we're simply saying this, this is a message to the Daily Mail, that you are, as the bullies often are, you're used to people not standing up to you, you're used to your lies, your hatred being unchallenged, those days are over and all the people who you hate, who you spread lies and you demonise and you make their lives more difficult, are now going to speak out loudly, confidently, with pride, and we're going to show cheerful defiance that you don't stand up for the people of this country, you don't represent the values of people in this country. And are we, are, do you think that social media is playing a part in doing all this? Social media is absolutely key and one of the most interesting things about social media is it makes it much easier to scrutinise the mainstream press, to scrutinise their lies if you like and the hatred and the venom. And spread it through blogging. Absolutely, now we can use social media like Twitter, like blogs to actually show what's really going on and now whenever, you know, whether it be the Daily Mail, whether it be the BBC for that matter, when they do things which serve those in power, because journalism should be about challenging people with power, not kicking the powerless, which is what the Daily Mail does, it's, it's challenging people with power, uh, but when they fail to do that and when they spread lies about people, we will go out and we will challenge them and we will use social media to do that. The British public should not fear the press. The press, its editors and media barons should fear the British public and pushing us too far. We've been pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and today we are pushing back. Solidarity and thank you for coming today.